Welcome back everybody to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we're doing a primitive weapons hunt on Medvedtaiga. And we have a moose coming in right now that we're going to try and get a shot into with the longbow. I'm pretty much going to hunt for moose today because I'm actually looking to set up a moose grind. And uh, so I guess, yeah, so we're going to go for them. And this guy hopefully will cooperate. The only thing I will be using against primitive weapons is my binoculars just because... Um, I want to be able to know the ranges. I'm not that great up close yet, or as far as like knowing ranges. Uh, this guy is super close, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the bow out. And I think we... Wow, what's happening? I actually think I dropped him. Yeah, it looks like I got a good shot there. Let's see what we hit. Heart shot at 26 meters, so not super far shot at all. But yeah, got it done on this level 3 moose. Hopefully we find some cool stuff today. Um, like I said, it's going to be all primitive weapons if I can help it. And uh, yeah, see what we get. We got ourselves one and two quite nice level four moose that I'm actually just going to... Um, I don't even know if I'm going to sneak. I might just stop here and call them and see if they come close enough. Unfortunately, I spooked the one. I didn't get a good shot and just kind of took a quick shot because I was getting nervous. But this guy's just hanging out there. And the muzzleloader zero is for 100, so I might as well just try, with he stops, to hit him the iron sights from here. Oh, he took a step. I saw that at the last second. Well, it looks like we might have got it long anyway, because his health is dropping. It's a very big moose. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, he has a chance at being a level 4 diamond. But we got him with the muzzleloader, so... Um, I stand up. Alright, now, so we'll run over there and take a look and see what we got ourselves. Because, who knows, maybe we just shot ourselves a diamond. Alright, here's the moose. And he kind of looks pretty dark. I think he's just a regular one. I don't think he's melanistic. But uh, that is a level 4. I don't think he's going to make it. There's not really any crowd times there. Uh, but yeah, he's a 256 gold. That's really big gold. I probably should have taken a trophy shot because that was kind of cool. But it did just barely clip the lung, and I got the stomach. So it wasn't, it was going to be a good shot, but then he took that half step and almost bad. But we got him down, and that's what's important. So nice shot with the muzzleloader, and uh, I'm going to have to move on and see what else we can find. Unfortunately, not a diamond. So I was running around, and in fact I should stop running, and I just found this guy, as you can see. Got a phenomenal estimate. Could be a troll. Um, I think 274 is diamond, so he's... His minimum is three points below. I don't see brow tines either. So, you know, fingers crossed he makes it, but we're gonna get, I'd say, about at least 200, maybe 100 meters away, I'd like to, and try to get a shot into him. Um, I don't know how it's gonna go. He's not too far already, so just 80 more meters and we should be able to get a good shot into him. Oh, he responded to the call, and he's making his way this way. Our wind is terrible, though. So, see what we'll get to for range with him. He's at 150 right now, and the loader does zero for that. But that would be an extraordinarily difficult shot to make. For, um, considering I've never taken one, I'd rather not do it on a diamond potential moose. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. I know he's definitely not going to be at 325, so we'll see what happens there. But um, Those two are calm. I know the wind is bad. Just need him to continue and stay calm. It's 126, 125. They're gonna be right into our wind. So they're gonna definitely get freaked out. Once he's at 100, if he gets to 100, I'm gonna let him get. Or I'm just gonna get the gun out and watch him, and then when he stops, that's when I'll take the shot. 108, though. Well, he's 100 right there. I think that'll be a good hit. Yep, he's dropping. And he is down right there. Definitely got a good hit on him. Um, load here. I don't, like I said, he's he doesn't have brow tines, at least not that I could see, so unlikely he makes diamond. But nonetheless, we got him down with the muzzle loader at, I thought it was about almost right on 100 meters. And uh, yeah, there he is. So. Fingers crossed he makes diamond, but I'm, I'm not feeling too confident about it. Get a neat picture here, maybe for a thumbnail. 
pretty good. His antlers are kind of clipping, but nonetheless, I think they look pretty good. All right, now, moment of truth. Let's see, did we make diamond? We did make a diamond with that. 279.8 with no brow tines he made it. That is unexpected. I really didn't think he would. Must have just been a lot of these tines here that just uh, hit it for him. I feel like my frame rate is kind of crappy right now on this anyway. But hey, we got ourselves a diamond moose with the puzzle loader at 104 meters with no scope. Let's see the shot. Oh, that shot was beautiful. In fact, just a hair lower, I would have dropped him in his tracks. That's awesome. We're going to have to go back to the lodge now. I think that's the first uh, trophy we got out of a uh, primitive weapons hunt. Holy crap. Look at that. That is an albino moose, and it's a level 4. Up to 204, and I think rares are still kind of busted where they'll score at the top of their estimate, so he should score 204. I've been calling to try and get him to come closer. I'd like to get him with the long or yeah, the longbow, because why not? But if not, I will use the muzzle loader. I'm in good cover and the wind isn't terrible. In fact, I'm gonna put some cover spray on here. But um, that'd be amazing to get that as well as the diamond. And I think that would mean all we'd have left to get if we get this guy is the uh, melanistic moose. So hopefully we can get him. I have a cow here that's upset with me. Um, she's not the one I'm after though, obviously. So he's within muzzleloader range. So worst case scenario, I do have that option. I just want to keep him coming because at 90 meters, I am not nearly talented enough with the longbow to make that shot. I'd say 40 is my, at the moment, effective range. So if I can get him to come twice as close as he is now, or half that distance or something like that, then I'll get him with the longbow. Otherwise, it's going to be muzzleloader. He's going attentive. I don't think I can hit that. I don't trust myself to hit that at all. So I might just go muzzleloader since he's alert. That should be a good hit. Yep, looks like I got him good. He's going to go down in the middle of the lake. Right there. Oh, that'll make for a cool picture. That's awesome. We have an albino moose down. Level 4, too. 204, I forget if that... I don't remember what makes gold, but hopefully he does. Not that it matters, I'm putting him in the lodge regardless. Let's take a look at him. That is so cool looking. Definitely albino. Completely white. Look at that. And I think I gotta get a picture, right? There, something like that. that's pretty neat. There we go. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's pick this guy up and see what we got. It's uh gold. It is. That's 204, like I said, with uh when they when they're a rare uh fur type, or I don't know if it's even just rares or anything that's not a common fur type. They almost always score at the top of their estimate. So yep, 204.88. Hit that shot. Not the greatest shot, but not terrible. That is just super cool looking. Wow, they really got a lot of detail because I noticed it in the eyes. Unless that's how all the eyes look on the moose. Those eyes even look kind of neat for an albino. That is awesome. Definitely going to tax that immediately. And uh, going to have to take it. Well, I already taken a trip to the lodge for the diamond. So now we have two moose to put up in the lodge. I uh, think we probably, we might just head to the lodge here. Um, did I shoot one with the bow? I did shoot one. Yeah, I think let's do that. All right, I'm back in the lodge now, and I did a few changes. I put um, whooped a diamond caribou out here. I think we'll get another one to put on the other side, something with lots of antler. And then eventually, I think I'll switch those bison out for something. Then I also put the Roosevelt elk in here that we had, and I moved a diamond that was in another room out to here to put it next to that other diamond. Um, I think that might be our level 4 diamond from a video. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so those that's not from today, but that's another diamond. And finally, from today, here is our diamond moose. Um, and I forget, he scored a 279. Is there a gun rack somewhere? Yeah, there's a couple. But yeah, he scored 279. So uh, not a big diamond, but still a diamond. He's got some good mass. But anyway, and then across from him... Right now I have a piebald I shot on Reventuli, I think is where I shot that. The mocha moose is up top, then there's an albino and from today's video, and I think what I'd like to do is put a melanistic here. So I'm going to have to continue grinding 
for a melanistic. I actually think I'll switch these two, but yeah, the character did the fist pump to show how excited I am about it. I loved would love to get all four rares up here. They'd be pretty neat. And then I got the uh, the diamond over there. So we have to keep grinding. Uh, if you guys like this video, check out the video where I shot this guy. And uh, have a great day.